Hello, welcome back everybody. Hello my active people who are staying at home, who are super responsible and who are safe and sound. Welcome back to our dance at home online series and today we're going to talk a little bit about the stretching. So I think that stretching is one of the things that we as professional uh, dancers always have in our dancer's bucket, how I call it because everything that may help you become better and feel more comfortable and confident in your dancing, everything that's gonna work, you can add it into your bucket list and do it at home, especially now when you have so much time for that. So today, uh, like I told you in the, uh, the previous videos, I always love to start warming up and stretching my, my body, myself, from the top. So today we're gonna start our first mini series of stretching, which is going to be uh, the neck stretching. So these upper muscles I find very are very very important uh, if you want to feel more flexible in your for example your dance frame, your ballroom frame, also how you can feel a little bit more uh, comfortable when you do the turns or anything. Basically if you stretch your upper body you're gonna feel much more freedom. All right. So today, guys, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to repeat everything that I do with you. So treat it as a, a mini stretching workout, okay? So we're going to start with a little bit of the warm up recommendation for all my peeps. Uh, always when you are going deeper into the stretching, always start with warming yourself up a little bit because otherwise your muscles are gonna feel super stiff because you know, our body really doesn't like to work. So it doesn't like to be stressed out. So not to feel that your muscles are super stressed out, we're going to warm up a little bit. So just simply play some upbeat music as a background and you can just start walking like this. Yeah, you can start walking, you can be talking to somebody, you can still be, you know, like watching TV, you can even be checking your Facebook or YouTube with our new videos. And so just keep walking, you can be jumping a little bit, pretend that you're kind of jogging in the same place, okay? So we do it a little bit, I would say for like a minute or two or something. You can shake your arms if you want. I can be walking and shaking, you can see? I can do a little bit more active, like a little workout. And be jamming to the beat. Yeah, still be shaking, you can move your Hug a little bit, you can shake your uh, shoulders, do whatever, whatever you want to do. So let's say you basically need something just to feel, sometimes just to feel that your blood is running and you feel the blood flow. Okay, so now we're going to stretch, uh, to warm up our neck a little bit, and then we're gonna stretch it. So to warm up, just simply repeat after me. We can do it for two eighths, you can count. Mm -hmm. Make it fast because we're warming up. Then we're going to turn. Perfect. Then we can do a little head rolls to one side. Then to the other side. Again, do not forget, don't stress your muscles too much. We're just warming them up. All right, then feel like you're not dizzy, everything is working, and then we're going to go into the stretching. So, again, guys, I'm gonna refer a little bit to my ready-to-go position because whenever you're stretching, please make sure that your body and your back especially is not too relaxed, okay? Because that's not gonna do any good for you. So, stretch your spine as much as possible, yeah? I prefer to have my feet a little bit apart for uh, better balance and better flexibility. It's like a platform that you can use, okay? even when you're stretching your top. Okay, so stretch it as much as you can, ready to go position, we're not slouching, my shoulder blades are in the right uh, spot and my spine is as straight and flat as possible. Okay, so then we're going to start with, uh, get your right ear ready and you're going to try to put it on your right shoulder, okay? Again. The stretching of the muscles and some good tips. So first of all, control the shoulder, please. Make sure it doesn't go forward. So control it in the right spot. Yep. So you feel a little bit of stretching right here. You should feel it. Okay, and again, do not stress your muscles too much. We're just trying it for the first time. Then for my people who want to be a little, challenged a little bit more, I'm gonna open my right arm 
I'm gonna kind of roll it around my head with my fingers on my left ear and press it on my right shoulder a little bit more, okay? So as you can feel, this extends my stretching a little bit. Again, at the same time, my left arm is really, really stretched. It's like I'm trying to touch floor, the floor with my fingers of my left arm. Boom. Yep. And again, control the pain level. It shouldn't be like, on the scale from one to 10, it should feel like seven or eight. Don't make it 12, please. Okay, and I press it a little bit more. Again, for my people who want to be challenged a little bit more, I'm gonna open my hand up, my left hand, and make it super flat. And still keep pulling, feel like you're pulling it, trying to touch the floor. Okay, wonderful, then just relax very slowly. Feel like the blood is still running. We're gonna repeat it to the other side. So put your left ear, Try to put your left ear on your left shoulder. Then we open our left arm, roll it around our head, palm on my right ear, and I press it down. Hi, Dima, are you trying to do that as well? Yep. Okay, right hand fingers point towards the floor. Perfect, and you hold this position Oh, one more thing, guys. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see. Please, no curves here. Try to keep your um, spine as flat as possible, okay? All right, to make it a little bit more challenging, palm goes up, fingers go up, and we try to press it into the floor, okay? All right, slowly relax. Beautiful, move your head from side to side. Wonderful. Okay, now from here, again guys, please, please, please do not forget, this is your body and you know how much you need to do. If you're trying things like that for the first time, even if you do it just a little bit, that's gonna be still very helpful for your body. Your body's gonna be very happy when we do the stretching. It's super, super healthy. You can talk to your doctor, it's, he's gonna tell you or she's gonna tell you that it's super, super healthy. Again. Um, don't make, don't put too much stress into your muscles for now. Day after day, if you repeat it, you can put some more pressure and more pressure, but not for the first time, okay? We still, we still want you to not to feel like this the next morning. All right, then from here, I'm going to, again, ready to go position. I'm going to try to put my chin on my chest, okay? So I'm simply going to do like this. Again, in the beginning, as you can see, I'm still not trying not to slouch, and I put my shoulder blades and my shoulders backwards in the right spot. Please keep breathing deeply. Hold it. Wonderful, then we're gonna open our arms up. I'm gonna make a little lock, just like this. Then I'm gonna put it on the top of my head. See, like if, I, if you were in a point tail like me, you can do like this. And then I'm gonna put a little pressure on my head. Just a little bit, please control it. Control the intensity. And as you can see, I feel like I'm relaxing my elbows and feel like somebody's pulling my elbows towards the floor. Then we slowly release the pressure. We're gonna go up and we're gonna try to stretch like we just woke up. Mm, wonderful morning, it's sunny. Amazing, then I'm gonna relax, take a deep breath out and do the same thing one more time, very slowly. And we go up slowly and stretching. And repeat it for the third time. That's gonna be enough for now. If you really feel like it's not too much for you guys, just a tip, for us professionals, we already do that. 
From here to extend my pressure, I'm going to flex my knees a little bit and try to go even lower. Then from here, I straighten my knees first. I'm going up, opening my elbows, opening my arms. Take a deep breath out, make sure you're not dizzy. Turn your head a little bit. Smile to yourself in the mirror. There we go. So now from here we're going to continue. This time I'm going to uh, turn my head uh, for like 45 degrees. Right now I'm doing that to the left. And from here I'm going to put my chin on my collarbone. Again, ready to go position. We're not slouching. We're keeping it as much as we can. From here, don't release your position. You're gonna open your left arm if you're going to the left, if you're doing that to the left. Put it on the top of your head and add a little bit of pressure. Again, recommendation, please control this shoulder. If it goes forward, you're not doing it right. So please feel like somebody's pushing you back. Then we fold it. Then we're going to slowly release the pressure. Deep breath. Now we're going to repeat it to the other side. To my right, 45 degrees. Press it, put it on your collarbone and hold it. Control your opposite shoulder, please. You can even put the hand here and feel like you're actually pushing with your own head, you're pushing your shoulder backwards a little bit. Now we're gonna open the, uh, the arm, put it on the top of your head, and add a little bit more pressure. Gain level uh, eight, nine, I would say. Okay, then slowly release the pressure, go up, turn your head a little bit, Wonderful, make sure you're not dizzy. And after this, you're gonna do a little bit of the head rolls, again. Uh, please, 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 um, I've seen it all. Please, guys, recommendation. Whenever you're rolling your head, please don't go backwards too much. You just look up a little bit and that's it. So we concentrate on stretching, going deeper when we go forward. And then just up, and then to the other side. This we do very, very slow. And again, when you are stretching, you do everything slowly. You concentrate on your breathing and positive thoughts. Wonderful. Then you just simply look up, turn your head any direction. All right. That feels like the blood is running. Thank you so very much for watching. In our next video, we're going to talk a little bit more how we stretch our upper torso and our arm muscles, which is gonna be essential for your dancing, ladies. You don't wanna miss that. Please stay at home, be safe, we love you, and we'll see you soon on the dance floor.